Well, it took just over a year to get here, but it is now available. This is the Surface Connect to Type-C adapter. Today, I'm gonna review it, tell you what's new and what you need to know. Stay tuned. So here it is, the Surface Connect to Type-C adapter. It goes for 80 bucks, which is not cheap, and we waited a long time for it. Now, a lot of people have made fun of the size of this device, but I gotta make some things clear here. Think of this more as a mini dock rather than a pure adapter, and I'll show you why. So although you can use this on the go, and I do just plug it into the side there, and sure, I could take this little tiny guy here and plug it in and now have a Type-C uh, thumb drive, and I can do that, and you can see it works perfectly but it's more than that, and you really want to use this for a lot more options. Now, you can do all sorts of stuff with this, so it does do power display and data. In fact, let me connect up here to the Asus Zen screen, so I reviewed this a few months back. It's a portable display. It's 15-inch, and it easily fits in your backpack, which is pretty cool, and you couldn't use it with a Surface Pro or a Surface Laptop before, but as you can see now, I can now use the Type-C connector and bring it with me. Another popular option will be using USB Type-C power. So I just connect this up here and now I can recharge the Surface Pro or Surface Laptop. Now, if you're curious, I'm using the Dell charger here that came with the XPS 15 9575. That's a 130 watt charger, which I really don't get how that works. But all you need to know is this can take up to 100 watts of Type-C power, which yes, is more powerful than the standard Surface Pro connector, which means you can actually charge faster with this device. Now where things get real interesting is this bad boy here. This is just one example. This is the Dell hybrid charger. So it plugs in through AC through here. And of course you can now charge the device, but that's not what makes this device interesting is you can detach this, leave this at home as a connector. And now this is a portable battery bank. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can plug it in here and it will recharge the Surface Pro on the go. Now, as you can see so far, this type C adapter can handle everything, but this is really what people want to use this for. This is a Type-C hub. So this is called Minix, I believe. It's a little bit expensive. It is on Amazon. But this is the kind of thing you really want to be able to plug into the Surface Pro or Surface Laptop. So on this device here, you have two USB Type-A's. You have an SD slot, micro SD slot, full RJ45 Ethernet. Coming around to the side here, you do have an HDMI out for your display. And this is the real important part, Type-C input for AC power. Now this is really the extreme example here. Forgive my cable management. Obviously you would put this behind the monitor or hide it if you could on your normal setup. But we're doing this for demonstration purposes. As you can see here, all connected up through Surface Connect, we have an external HDMI monitor here. We are charging it through USB Type-C. So everything is plugged in and charging and we have it set to best performance. We have an external Samsung SSD for extra storage. We have our SD in there as well. We are also using our brand new Microsoft Microsoft and telemouse because we do need that. And really that's what this is for that power user. It doesn't make sense to be using this just for a single item, but when you connect up a USB Type-C dock, well, now this sort of makes sense, especially when you compare it to say this giant thing. If you've never seen it before, this is the full Microsoft Surface dock. It goes for $200, but we basically did all the same thing here with this USB Type-C one. Now granted the Microsoft dock does have two display port output, so we don't have that on this device here, but still we're accomplishing a lot all with one Surface Connect port. All right, so a few other things you should know about. This works on Surface Pro 2017. In fact, I've been using my LTE version for this entire video. It also works with Surface Laptop. It does not work with Surface Book 1. I'm not sure if they will address that later on through a firmware update. Obviously, in theory, it should work, so it doesn't right now, or at least it works with storage, but not necessary display or power. It also doesn't work with Surface Book 2, which makes sense since that has USB Type-C anyway and it's got to share a power source with it, so it would be a little bit weird to have both enabled so it doesn't work there. Now, although Microsoft doesn't say it supports Surface Pro 4, in fact, it's running on Surface Pro 4 with a Core M3 right now. I've had no issues. It does everything with power, display, storage, etc. So if you have a Surface Pro 4, you should like this as well. I should also mention, yes, if you have a Lumia 950 USB dock, it does work there, you can use it, but I should also throw the caveat out there, you can't power the device through it, as that dock only supports the Lumia 950's power source and nothing higher. So although you can use display out and storage with it, you won't be able to charge your device. So remember that and take into consideration if that's your plan. 
I should also point out this does not support Thunderbolt 3 nor external GPUs as there is just not enough bandwidth with USB 3.1 and a Surface Connect port. Now as to who this device is for, well Microsoft is clearly aiming this at business and enterprise, not so much consumers, although you can buy it if you want. The idea here is if you're a business and you invested in Surface Laptop or Surface Pro and bought a bunch of those devices, but are also supporting USB Type-C docks at work, well this is going to be your solution. Don't forget those companies hold on to those devices for two to four years, so they want to have a way to go forward and this is that solution for it. So although you may make fun of it being a consumer and paying $80 for a business is an enterprise who will get a bulk discount for buying this, it's actually a really nifty solution. When you think of it more of a mini dock rather than a dongle, well, you can see the value here is pretty strong. Overall, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and sure, it's actually kind of cool to be able to charge my Surface Pro on the go now with a USB Type-C battery pack. So there's a quick look at the new Surface Connect to Type-C adapter. It's now available, and if you have more questions, leave them below. I'll have a full review written at Windows Central about this device as well, so there's a lot to unpack there. Let me know what you think, though. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.